Hey guys, Joshua here from Chronic Illusions TV and welcome to this tutorial on how to get the widescreen cinema effect using Final Cut Pro 10. So here's an example of what I'll be teaching you guys how to do. As you can see these cinema bars right here, on Adobe Premiere you would have to use a Photoshop file on Final Cut Pro 10. You don't have to use a Photoshop file which you can still use it because the new Final Cut Pro 10 allows you to use Photoshop documents but the program itself already has an effect known as letterbox this is what you call letterboxing but this is what we all know as the widescreen cinema effect I got a question asked on Facebook by Christian Jose Figueroa also known as technology enforcer he's a computer tech guy he does tech tutorials in Spanish and English all Mac and Windows so check him out all his links will be under the description he asked me a personal question on Facebook saying how you have a widescreen cinema effect in your trailer basically how do I get the widescreen cinema effect on my trailer so in this video I'll be teaching you guys how to do this and uh, let's just get started then so you're gonna open up your Final Cut Pro 10 Here's a clip that I just uh, deleted the effect off just for this video purpose. But as you can see, this is what the shot of my camera looks like. There's no s cinema bars, nothing, nothing's cropped. This is all original size, 1920 by 1080. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our right on the same area where your timeline is at. You're going to go to your right, you're going to click your effects browser and you're gonna have a list of effects video and audio so you're gonna go to your video section click stylize and you could type in letterbox or it'll just pop up right there but for purposes if you can't find it just type in letterbox you're gonna see it right here what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag this onto the desired clip that you choose to have the cinema effect and as you can see already it gives you bars right here already but you're saying this is not the cinema bars that I want how do I change the size do I have to transform it now this sucks no it does not suck if you go to your upper right corner you're gonna have your inspector if you can't find this you're basically gonna click this I information button right here once you click it it'll come with your inspector so it's basically known as your inspector button you know, see the letter box on your effects panel, and you got different aspect ratios to choose from. So you, you got 1.66, you got 1.78, 185, 235, or 3.0. 3.0 is the thinnest that you can go. You can also change the offset of this on your video offset, which is your clip, or you could change the border size if you want to go thinner or if you just want to keep it original you can also change the color to your border size but I don't really change it always keep it black traditional so the cinema bar axe by ratio that I always put is 2.35 by 1 that's the cinema effect that I use and that's pretty much it as you can see this is how the video will come out to look like just as the final product on YouTube all the clips in this project have this effect and everything else is all color corrected using magic bullet so that's pretty much it for you guys that is how you get a widescreen cinema effect for your videos make sure to subscribe and thanks for